All right, folks, and let us finish up the second half of Tank, the Definitive History of Armored Vehicles by DK and the Smithsonian. So starting with the Cold War to modern day, that looks like a Leopard 1A1 turret, a little bit. So Stalin and the Cold War, poster in Vietnam. Okay, that looks like an IS tank a little bit. That's a Patton in Vietnam. Ooh, T-54s, BT-76, ugh. <laughs> IS-10 or T-10 modernized, okay. Uh, 122 of course, T-55, 54s. Uh, 55 has better protection against other elements than 54s. But Type 59, that looks like an L7 gun. Is that a Type 59-2? Yeah, Type 59-2. It doesn't have the L7 <laughs> copy of the 105. It should have a 100, but meh. T-62s. Type 62s are light tanks. Not exactly the same as T-62s. This should have a 115? 115. Larger caliber of a gun. And it's smooth bore. Not the A version. Ew, what the hell is this? <laughs> type 63. Looks like a PT-76 with a Type 62's turret. <laughs> no, it's amphibious. Uh, cross wide rivers and paddy fields. It's a little boat. <laughs> uh, T-64B, we're getting to the T-72's. Yep. T-72's. Oh. So iconic. Oops. Jumping forward. T72 M1. Cheaper alternative to the T64. T80s. Holy crap, you're getting to T80s? Type 88C. Yeah, it's jumping forward a little bit. Type 69, giggity. T55 AD. Is that like exported to the Middle East? It has a bunch of space armor and crap. Holy crap. Huh? Yeah, it's exported to Iraqi. Extra armor attached to the turret, side skirt, and glacis plate on the front. Neat. T seventy two shot at this thing with a Patton all the time in the original Cold War Crisis Operation Flashpoint OG tank game. <laughs> this is equivalent to a M sixty practically, but. Yeah, this is a Polish version of the vehicle. 125. Uh, date 1973. Secondary armament is a Dushka. Huh, crew of three. Oh yeah, all the Russians starting use autoloaders. So only crew of threes compared to Americans' four-man crew. Exterior. Polish national emblem. What the hell is 15? I always wonder. 15. Rear reflector. <laughs> it's nothing special. It's a reflecting uh, little uh, light thingy. <laughs> I saw this on the CS52 uh, or so. If I remember in the game. Just like, what the hell is this thing? Huh. Different spotlights, stationary, convoy lights. Hmm. Number 5 is an infrared light, we already know. 9 is a snorkel. Oh, on the back of the turret. That's a snorkel. Additional gill armor on the sides, 12. Yeah, stop the video and look through, it's pretty interesting. Uh, this is um, Berlin, between West Berlin and East Berlin. So pan tanks face off against T-55s and 54s. You are leaving the American sector. Germany manufacturers. Oh, not Germany. General Dynamics. What the hell am I talking about? The Cold War. This is very modern looking too. We're getting to the Abrams now. What the hell? Ajax armor vehicle. Looks like a Bradley. Modified. Well, not even a Bradley. Bradley looks... Yeah, it looks like a more of a warrior. Excuse me. Not a Bradley. 
Onslaught. Hmm. A bunch of cars. Centurion! Oh, jumping back? Alright, rear view Centurion. Uh, looks like the L7. A little bit. Or, yeah, it's an L7. This will look like a 20 pounder. Should be a 5 version. Centurion Mark 5. Mark 13! Attach a spotlight. It's a Mark 13 Centurion. Holy crap. I think the 7s are the ones getting the. Getting the 105s. Effective 17 pounder for the earlier version, but. It should be switching to a 20 pounder. Yeah. 20 pounder and then the. I don't think you can mount the 32 pounder on the Centurion. It's not an option. It's only on the Carnarvon. Alright. Number one is a fire extinguisher release. Ah. Oh. Different crew compartments, smoke canisters, grenade launchers, different knobs and bobs. 50 caliber ranging machine gun. That's a coaxial. Ooh, NATO vehicles. We have the Bulldog, we have the Centurion with the 20 pounder, earlier versions. Um, technically, that's not the Mark 1 Centurion. Mark 1 Centurion has the machine gun boob on the left hand side a little bit. It's I think it's on the Mark 3 a little bit. This looks like a Mark 3, but. Huh. I mean, it doesn't have that mantlet if it's the Mark 1. Well, then again, I played too much of the stock turret. Hmm. M47 pattern, M60 pattern, the Chieftain, M103s, 48 pattern, A2? No. Added to later versions. A th A5s starting to have the 105 for the M48. Uh, AMX 13s with the 90 or 75. Alright. Uh, Leopard 2s? Leopard 2s. AMX 30B. Leopard 1s. Mark 13 again of the Centurion. Oh, Starship! <laughs> they actually put this thing in? Oh. Um, it should be called the Starship, right? How futuristic it looks, but it's kind of bad. <laughs> as the same missile launcher as the T 49 or the. Sheridan, practically. <laughs> M1 Abrams, Challenger 1, my favorite tank in Armor Warfare. It's the T29 of Armor Warfare at tier 7, my favorite. You still have to upgrade the uh, frontal ERA, otherwise your lower plate is get it's getting pinned. Otherwise it's pretty good, it's pretty solid of a heavy. Leper 1s! That looks like a 1A1. 1A1A1A2 1A, 1A, version. Huh. Yeah, that is the, that's from the front, the cover of the Cold War page. 105. Enduring Appeal. Yeah, it, I mean, it looks pretty good. German engineering at its finest. Nobody cannot unlike, you know, a Leopard 1's. Uh, German emblem. Smoke grenade launcher. 22 is a compass, right? Gunner Azimuth, indicator down. <laughs> a compass. Yeah, you need a compass. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Alright, tanks of unlying world. Middle East and other parts. Super Shermans. Sherman M50. That's without the 105. That's the 76 still. 75. Alright, Centurion. Modified. Into the shot. I don't know how to pronounce that, but sure. Uh, still the L7. That's the STRV 74 at tier 6. Garbage tur armor, but very good gun. 75mm. Uh, ooh, they have the Type 61 in here with a garbage tumor on top as well. <laughs> and it still has the 90, doesn't have the 105 too. And obviously the Stritzvon, the S tank. Oh, what the hell is this? The Vellyata. Sure. Based on the British Vickers Mark 1. L7 again. 
Super Sherman. Uh, ooh, Panzer 61 from the Swiss. It still has the kind of a Panzer 58-esque of a design, but it has a bigger gun. That's where well, I want to see this thing for the German tech tree. A little bit. Well, they could put it at tier 10, maybe. They're not going to do it. Panzer 68. Uh, AMX. Oh, that's not an AMX. That's Type 74. I spoke too soon. That's the SDB. SDB is the prototype to this. Markova? You put the Markova here? Holy crap. Uh, K1. That is Korean. Uh, macaque. That's Modify 60 pattern. Centurions. Again. Or exported Centurion to Sweden. Exported Chieftain. Whoa, what? You actually put the Scorpion here. Why? Tank Destroyers. Uh, they do away with Tank Destroyers, but... Holy crap, they put the Scorpion. As well as the Charioteer. Oh, this thing. <laughs> I think it was broken in um, War Thunder or something, but... <laughs> uh, at least I didn't see it. Saladin. It's a car. Rifle 76mm. It should be a low velocity gun too. Hmm. They have the Kanan Yak Panzer with a 90mm, which is total garbage. <laughs> oh, Hornet, Armored Cars, Panhar AML, 60mm gun mortar. It's a derp gun. ASU uh, 58, or 58, 85. Oh, 57. Replacement for original ASU 57. I wonder if we're getting the ASU tank destroyers for the actual game for the Russians. Oh, more cars, yeah. <laughs> IKV 91s, uh, Centauro, that's really modern day when I think about it. Well, end of the Cold War, but still. The Cougar, wow. Canada. <laughs> First support vehicle of armor forces, which include APC called Grizzly, an armor recovery vehicle. Huh, that looks pretty big of a car, too. Oh, that's the Cougar. That's the AMX. It's like, that's not the Cougar. That looks like a... Not a Cougar. That's a Cougar. That's the AMX-10 RC. Yeah. Wrong vehicle. Weasel! <laughs> this was also at Tier 7, I believe. In Armor Warfare. It's been a long time since I played. The Cougar. Okay. It's like a practically a car version of a Bradley, mostly. <laughs> Instead of tracks, you have wheels. Smoke grenade launcher. Flame throwing tanks. The Zippo pattern. Holy crap! I mean, can I see the actual Zippo? No. You give you, uh, give, they give you more cars. <laughs> uh, the Fox. Wasn't this at tier 6 for Armor Warfare, if I remember correctly? Or at tier 7. Eh. A bunch of carriers. The famous M113. Yep, M113 A1. It, it's, a, it's a Tinder box, practically, but it just. <laughs> You're not supposed to be going to combat. It's it's a it's a transport. It's not an actual combat vehicle. You could put a like a 50 caliber on top, but it's not gonna do much against like a BMP. It's not gonna do much. Nothing. <laughs> BMPs uh what was it? 57 millimeter or 70 something millimeter 73 will destroy this thing, especially with the ATGM on the top of the turret as well. Ugh. Carrier vehicles. Oh. That looks like a Russian inspired with like American design for the earlier M113s, kind of a gun shield. Huh. The Soviet Endgame with a bunch of T-72s. Is it T-72s? T-72s. In Hungary, 1990. Oh, the classic BMP-1. <laughs> Currently still being used in Ukraine for some reason. <laughs> After like what, 50 plus years? 60 years? It should be retired, but holy crap, they're still using it for some reason. 
Uh, the good old crocodile looking thingy majig. It's also amphibious, so BMP1, BMD right here. BMP2 with a auto cannon instead of the 73? 73. I thought it was a 57. Huh. Uh German. Schurzen Panzer. Wow. It's supposed to be a combat or carrier troop. Infantry fighting vehicle. The Martyr 1. That's interesting. I never saw this thing before. Huh. Yeah, I mean, BMP-1 is the classic, the OG, but we have the Bradley now. BMD-2, the Warrior. BMP-3, now it has a 100mm. Also, I think you can fire missiles out of it, too, from the gun barrel. Type 89s. Or at least, on, at least in Armor Warfare, you could do that with uh, BMDs and BMPs. Actually, earlier BMPs have the rocket launcher thing on top of the turret rather than inside the gun barrel. Once they have a bigger gun, they put it inside the gun barrel. Cars. Great, more cars. <laughs> Even more cars. Holy cr Well, that's not really. LAV is not really a car, but yeah, it has a bigger gun. What the hell is this thing? BTR 80. It has a mortar launching 120mm. <laughs> It's a big gun for a car. Well, then again, it's a mortar, so it's not exactly a, a sable round. Mines. Anti-mine, anti-tank mines in the hundred thousand were using World War II. I might not have. I think by Geneva, can you, or by some convention, they outlaw mines. But only a few countries don't even care. Like America, we don't care if you use, or we're going to use mines. We don't care about your Geneva Convention <laughs> or something like that. Also, the Russians, but. Engineer combat vehicles, basically a long derp gun, <laughs> large derp gun, excuse me, but that's a centurion, a centurion version, there should be a patent version as well, uh, there is not a patent, a patent version, oh, multi-rolled engineering vehicles practically, like ambulance and stuff. Armor one wheels. The scorpion. It's a bunch of modern day post war. Wow, we actually got into post war. Merkava. That's a Merkava, right? Yep, Mark IV Merkava. Mine clearing device. More cars. Counter insurgency, uh, mine prevention. That's why it has a V-shaped hull. Uh, to re redirect the blast from mines. Counter insurgency vehicles continued. Cage armor. The buffo, buff, buffo. Seventy-eight, nineteen seventy-eight. Wow. Pa uh, Patton. Abrams. <laughs> uh, Bradley's. Ooh, what the hell is this thing? CV90 from Sweden. 1993. Main armament is a 40mm. Is it auto cannon? I mean, it's a big ass auto cannon. It's like a small. It's like the gun you found on AC130. 40 millimeter cannon. I mean, it's a rapid firing. It's like an auto cannon practically, but there's like a five round clip or something. Oops, 30 millimeter auto cannon. Italy, Austria, and Spain, Israel. Remote control Browning 50 cal. I mean, the 50 cal is so iconic. It has been in use for like what over 100 years. It is that good. It's never been retired. 30mm auto cannon, smoke grenade launcher, AMX, or AMX. Ah, BDM, BMD. Ajax with a bunch of covering. More cars. 
All of them have either some sort of auto cannon or machine gun. I haven't seen a rocket launching one. That should be a rocket launching one, right? Very. So you can put a rocket launch or a rocket pod on top. Tracks on the ground. Abrams. Abrams. Type 90 from Japan. Leclerc. Challenger 2. Got all covered up. Uh, T90? Oh, it's a T72M. Never mind. Polish. That's our Ariete from Italy. T90 right here. That's a T90. There's also a T90M, but that's a T90S. Type 96 Type 99s, we have a Leopard 2s Oh, they actually put the T14 Armada into this Type 10 From Japan, Merkava Really? I never noticed that, they put the Merkava uh, Mark IV version with the turret near the center now Rather than the rear end Huh Maybe it's up to the Mark III version of the Merkava, where the turret is always at the back end, like the like the UDES versions of the tank design ish. Abrams, obviously, I had to put the Abrams. We have so many of these. There's also the recent reveal of Abrams X, the <laughs> modern Abram. I took a look. They put an auto loader and three man crew, but. Looks fancy, uh, has the twice mileage of the actual Abrams, which is good. Use 50% less fuel, which is nice. Evolution of the tank, so we're done practically with um, the Cold War system practically. They're not going to show off like the recent, what was it, K-51 Panther or K-59, no K-51, modern day Panther designed by the Germans to replace the Leopard 2s, which is pretty nuts but they're not gonna put that it's only a 2017 book it's not that recent so they're not gonna put the Abrams X it just came out like last month or last two weeks or so <laughs> evolution of the tank air intake oh a nice cross section yeah tank engines all different track and suspensions the famous Christie suspension to make you go super fast. I am speed in the Crusader, practically, or Cruiser Mark III. But that was all the way like 100 years ago, practically. Uh, main caliber of a machine gun. And the main gun with saber rounds, high explosive. <laughs> Telling you how to penetrate with the guns. Sabo. Uh, arm piercing discarding Sabo. Armor piercing fin stabilized discarding Sabo. There's also like armor piercing high explosive discarding Sabo. There's, there's a bunch of names for it. <laughs> armor protection angle your armor. Have you angled today? They actually put the PL10 or PL01. Uh, wow. That's a Polish, right? They don't have an actual thingy for this vehicle. That's a that's a, like a tier 10 in armor warfare. Actually have it. Oh, different maneuver strategies, I guess. They actually put tactics into this thing. Holy crap. Anti tank weapons. The Achilles. The Scorpion again. Uniforms. Desert uniforms as well as winter uniforms. Different hats because of hats. And the glossary of different stuff you need to know. What the hell is a cupola or cupola, as somebody pronounced? A mini turret situated at the top of me, giving commander a better view. It's not really a turret when you think about it, unless you have the Americans using the. Was it a 30 caliber in the original M1? But they do away with that. So usually there's there's no gun. It's just a rotating uh, spot or bubble. Huh, just random glossary and stuff. Well, there you go, folks. That's Tank. The Definitive History of Armor Vehicles by DK and the Smithsonian. So, it's not a bad introduction to the random vehicles you get to see. 
Um, but it's not like a big glossary or a big encyclopedia of all the vehicles in the world. So next book I'm thinking about doing is likely this one, the World Encyclopedia. Blah, <laughs> the World Encyclopedia of Tanks and Armored Vehicles. Over 400 vehicles and 1,200 wartime modern day photographs hardcover. So we get to see more books or more tanks and stuff, but so I'll see what happens with the next book, but I'm thinking about more vehicles to cover or at least some historical videos or some garbage. But thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.